Highway News is your local election headquarters. A special election in Fall River tomorrow. Voters will need to decide whether to recall embattled Mayor Jaisal Correa, and if so, who will replace him. The recall election was prompted after Correa pleaded not guilty to federal fraud charges stemming from his app Snow Owl. With the polls set to open in the morning, Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshudo joins us live in Fall River with more. Sheena? Well, right now we're live in front of Fall River City Hall, and almost every time I'm here, I meet citizens or city officials who are very invested in this story. They want to see the city move forward. They want to know what happens next. And by this time tomorrow, we should know if Mayor Crea will continue leading the city or not. It's the final push before Fall River special election. The city's covered in posters representing each of the five candidates, including Fall River's current mayor, Jason Correa, who's facing federal charges, triggering the recall and special election in the first place. Plans to resign? You have no plans Absolutely to resign? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's no plans to resign. That's good. It has nothing to do with the city, with me as mayor. Correa refused to step down, Between even after thousands of citizens signed a petition. The city council also sent him a notice asking him to do so. Tuesday's ballot will first ask if voters want Correa to be recalled. Then it will ask who you'd like to vote for. Mayor Correa's name is still on that list. The other candidates include Joe Camara, Erica Scott Pacheco, Kyle Riley, and Paul Coogan. The Board of Elections spent the night preparing all 29 polling locations. The chairwoman says the special election cost the city about $65,000. <laughs> Eyewitness News was able to catch up with two of the candidates during the last hours of their campaign. We asked what sets them apart from the others looking to lead the city. Well, I think my experience, I've been on the council for 23 years, and I've known that, you know, there's a lot of things that I've done for this community, and I think a lot of people know that and appreciate that. I think the fact that I live in a low-income neighborhood, work for a local nonprofit serving the low-income community, I really understand the issues facing Fall River. Now, it is important to remember that whoever wins this election will only officially be in office until later this year. They would still need to run and win again in September. Now, we did reach out to all five candidates. I am still waiting to hear back from the other three. Reporting live in Fall River tonight, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.